Hello friends. You are welcome to NMARTEC. We are going to discuss all about resistance, inductive reactants, capacitive reactants, impedance and the differences between them. Please kindly click the subscribe button and bell to stay updated with trending videos and don't forget to like share. In a purely resistive circuit both voltage and current reaches peak value at the same time. They are said to be in phase. Depending on the conductor, there is usually some amounts of opposition a conductor material possessed to the free flow of current. There is need for enough voltage to push current through and subdue this opposition. This opposition is known as resistance. It is the ratio of voltage to current, expressed in ohms. This is applicable to both AC and DC circuits. For an AC circuit, we know there is usually a change in flow of current due to alternating nature of an AC waveform. When a capacitor or an inductor is included in such a circuit, this change in flow of current is opposed. This opposition is known as reactance. Reactance is the non-resistive element of opposition to the change of current in an inductive or capacitive AC circuit. It is also expressed in ohms, represented with the letter X. In an inductive circuit, voltage leads current. This means that voltage reaches the peak value before current. Current flow through the inductor coil create magnetic field around the coil. This magnetic field in turn induces voltage back into the inductor coil. There is an opposition between the induced voltage and the supply voltage. The supply voltage must subdue the induced voltage before current can flow through this circuit. This means that flow of current is opposed. This opposition is known as inductive reactance. It is directly proportional to the supply frequency. Inductive reactance is represented by XL, X subscript L, and given by the formula, XL equals 2 pi FL, where L equals inductance in Henry and F equals frequency in Hertz. In a capacitive AC circuit, Current reaches peak value before voltage. Voltage lags behind current. At the same supply frequency, the capacitor charges and discharges alternatingly, and also the polarity of the plates changes alternatingly as well. Change in current in such a circuit experiences an opposition. This opposition is known as capacitive reactance. It is represented by X subscript C, X C. Capacitive reactance is inversely proportional to frequency. It is given by the formula. X C equals 1 divided by 2 pi F C. Where F equals frequency in Hertz and C equals capacitance in Farads. In an RLC circuit, there is a combination of both resistive and reactive elements of opposition to the flow of current. This combination of both resistive and reactive elements of opposition to the flow of current is known as impedance. It is also measured in ohms. Represented with the letter Z, impedance has real and imaginary parts. Resistance is the real part, while reactance is the imaginary part. Impedance is given by the formula Z equals square root R squared plus X squared. When both XC and XL are given, Z equals square root R squared plus XL minus XC squared. Thanks for watching. Remember to click your subscribe button.